subscribers um so as you know my bed is a king size bed and i want to show you how big this is compared to me i don't know if this is going to help but this is a huge tote basket thingy and we're going to empty it because uh yeah these are exercise clothes just an abundance of unnecessary too many exercise clothes with still tags on them y'all see that so this is what we're working with and this is what i'm getting ready to go through it there's just too freaking many exercise clothes so i'm really going to go through this pile to actually see exactly what i want what i want to keep and what i don't want to keep and i'm going to kind of speed through it and then once i come back i'm going to show you the keep and the discard donate or whatever you want to call it um after i speed through this i'm just looking at it and it's just overwhelming looking at it i want to be able to have just enough items to where i get back in the groove of fitness and exercising i can just reach for what i know fits and what i know i'm comfortable with so i'm going to speed through it but i'm also going to try on certain things and see how i like them not on camera or show that but i'll talk to you guys about it once i get into showing you the pile of keep and um discard so yeah first of all i'm gonna count how many items i have and then i'll be right back all right so i am back and there are a total of 36 items a couple jackets i think it's about three jackets in here and the rest is uh workout pants and an abundance of t-shirts that are unnecessary so now we're getting ready to go through discard and keep now with the keep i'm going to try on because i don't know how all this stuff fits because i haven't been wearing it and a lot of it is brand new and i have never worn it so we're going to go through and kind of do discard and keep and then from discard and keep we're going to see what i really can fit and how does it feel on me and do i truly like it so let's begin okay guys okay okay so <laughs> these are all the items i want to keep these are the items i want to get rid of here and i have three shirts hold on three shirts here that oh actually two i thought it was three that i'm also going to discard so those items i'm liking i'm feeling but I need to try on I need to try on to see if I can fit them or if I'm comfortable with wearing them before I decide if I want to keep them on so we're gonna remove these I'm gonna set them on the floor now I'm gonna put it to the side because I want to show you all the difference of what I keep so now since these are the ones I decide I am still interested in I'm getting ready to try these on come back and tell you what I feel about this pile and how this pile I definitely know is getting ready to be depleted even more once I try these things on so let me do that and I'll be back so, <laughs> oh my gosh guys I'm so excited so that is the discard pile I can't fit it doesn't feel right not comfortable getting rid and this is what I have left so out of the 36 items 
I have my two jackets, which I can fit. And remember, this is the one I showed you guys on my weight loss journey where I couldn't fit. I still can fit it. Yes, I can. And and then um, I have my other like shirt um, jacket type thing. And then all of the workout clothes are here. I have one, two, three, four bottoms and one, two, three t-shirts. These are my CPR for the body t-shirts. As you know, if you're new, if you don't know, my favorite color is lime green. And then I found my shirt. I could not find this thing. It is a tank that holds you in and it's so nice. So I'm gonna take this with me on our vacation and wear this with my white maxi and my new croc flops that I am so loving. And I found my other soft knit that goes down over your butt T. Um, so yeah, keeping those two. And then I found two of my black tees that I couldn't find. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13 items out of 36. And these, I'm not even looking at them again. I'm about to take them to my husband so he can put them in a box and discard. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these and put these in back in the little tote and nicely organize them and also take my other t-shirts out of my little nightstand and put them in with that just for right now till I actually I think I'm gonna put these in the closet I don't know we'll see let me do something with them and I'll come back and show you what I did with them now, look how nice and neat this is so what I'm gonna do is grab my fave shirts and I'm gonna put them in here as well that way I can free up a little bit of space in my nightstand and um, yeah so all of my t-shirts that I love are gonna be going in here. I'm probably gonna rearrange these, hold on. I think that the workout stuff should be together. And then all of my t-shirts that I love, I love t-shirts, can go here um, on the side. And I can see which one is which. And these are the white tees, my gray tee, and my other white tee. And those are all the t-shirts I have. And the only thing that's not in here is my soft tee. And I'm going to set that actually right here on top. And that's going to go back under my bed. So those are all my t-shirts. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't want to keep that one. I'm going to put that in a discard pile. So these are all my workout clothes and all my tees. And I'm wearing one. And I also have this tank here that I thoroughly enjoy. And my next thing is going to be purging, which I'm taking this on my trip. My next thing is going to be purging my tank top, so stay tuned for that. I have lots of tank tops. I purged them before, but I have not touched them since we've been here. They've been under my bed. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this was inspiring to you to declutter, purge, and minimize your things. This journey to me is just so, so, so refreshing, so reviving. And I'm hoping that I inspire someone else to step out there, do it, just get rid of the stuff, and move on. Once you put it in that pile, don't look at it again. Because when you made the decision, you should have been thinking of everything possible why you don't want that item before you put it over there. So that way you don't have to go back and grab it. So I love you guys and I want you guys to stick to your script because you are the best at it. And I will see you guys later, Gators, in my next video. All right, guys. So I felt this was very necessary because of the simple fact that we don't really pay attention. But I really want y'all to study this pile of clothing. Look at this pile of clothing and watch the difference after I purchased this what the clothing looks like after the purge just see how it transforms your mind do you see the difference doesn't this feel like less weight less of a burden and less anxiety to your mental and your brain I am telling you as you start to do this purging and decluttering slowly but surely I thought I was done but it was something missing and I had to continue going and I wanted to share this journey with you guys I did not like going in this basket. Why? Because it was so many things in there and it was disorganized and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I would always throw stuff on top and whatever I put on top, I would grab. But now after doing everything I could to remove what I'm not using and let it be a blessing to someone else, 
I don't have a problem going into this basket now because this basket is more inviting. I can see everything. It's organized and it doesn't mess with my brain. If this is something you're going through, I want you to try this experiment as well. Take things and look at them and then change them after purging and cluttering and see how you feel. Try it and let me know how it works. Later, guys.